tell me how much better the car is looking without the white stripe. That white stripe was terrible. The car looks so much cleaner now. Makes you like that car that much more. Told you I was getting rid of the white, the white stripe. Whew. All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So there are some things I want to talk about. The last video I posted was the Camaro reveal. And for some reason, it got a lot of hate, which the one thing I will say is the editing was not good. And I didn't have much footage of the car. That's because I was just out enjoying my car, you know? But I kept having getting people hitting me up like, yo, reveal the car, reveal the car. So I felt like, I don't know, I had to post something. So I just got a bunch of clips together that I had not the greatest quality, you know? But it is what it is. I wanted to get that video out for you. I should have did better at that. Whatever. That, I understand. But I'm getting a lot of hate, a bunch of hate comments, you know, a lot of good comments too, but a bunch of hate comments, a bunch of dislikes, and... Honestly, I don't really know why other than, you know, I started with the Mopar, but from the beginning, if you guys been here, I have been saying that I'm not going to be an only Mopar channel. I'm going to get other cars. So, oh, look at, something's coming up. What is this? Hellcat? Yeah, it's a Hellcat. Alright guys, like I was saying, I've been getting a bunch of hate stuff, whatever, it is what it is, I expected it, because I know my whole fan base and everybody that followed me was all, um, you know, Mopars, so I, I, I truly did expect, you know, a little bit, people unsubscribing, totally agree. Now, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit of backstory on why I did this, because I might have went into detail a little bit, but I want to break it down a little bit more. So, I've only I've owned that Charger for less than a year. I bought it completely stock. Completely stock. And I modified the hell out of it. Now, when I started modifying it, I didn't know anything about that platform. And I rushed it, and I did a lot of, a lot of stuff I regret, and I spent a lot of money where I didn't need to spend it. So... My point is I put 10,000 plus dollars into that car and it just never ran properly. Like I truly did not feel that that car was at its potential. And I don't know why, but I went through four different tuners, four, spent thousands on tuning, which was my mistake because I should have just went with, you know, Satara tuning or something. But when you're getting quotes for $1,800 for a tune, you're like, what the hell? So, but I went through four different tuners to try to make that car running good. And I could not get the car to run good. I could not get it to pull. I was never truly satisfied with the performance. I was satisfied with the looks though. The looks, man, there's nothing like that car. That car looked so, so good. And I will forever say that. And one day I'll get a Hellcat, you know? One day I definitely will get a Hellcat. But. Um, I just wasn't, I wasn't satisfied and truly the one thing I was completely worried about was getting a new tuner and going to get like a dyno tune, spending that $1,800 and it being the same exact thing. I was honestly really, really worried. Mind you, that probably wouldn't have happened, but I looked at it like, okay, I made mistakes and I got to learn from those mistakes now. You know, I know the Chargers where it all began for me, but that is what I wanted from that car. That car I wanted to start off with. I wanted something to build off of, you know? I wanted to learn cars. I wanted to learn, you know, sorry. I wanted to learn, Be I wanted to be a part of the car community, you know? So that is why I got that car and solely because I wanted to build a platform and I wanted to build a YouTube, build an Instagram, all that stuff. So I felt like I did everything possible to try to love that car as much as possible. 
and I did, but I was just truly worried about spending more money on it and not getting anything, not getting anything from it. Like you've seen, I was losing to cars I shouldn't be losing to, and that is not right. And with spending ten thousand plus dollars on modifications, I could put it into a Camaro and get way more out of it. Now. There's probably not going to be any cuts out of this because I just got a lot to talk about. Now, let's get on to the Camaro. So with the Camaro, I don't know my goals yet. I don't know if I'm going to supercharge full bolt-on cam E85. I mean, I'm going to probably go full bolt-on E85 and all that cam, supercharge, you know, probably all of it. But I don't know the exact goals yet, which is why I want to take this car slow. I want to enjoy it in every stage. I put $10,000 plus dollars into my Charger for it to be 500 horsepower, 520 maybe, okay? I could put that same amount, if not less, and be at way more with this car. They have Camaros in the nine second range, mid nines, high nines, full NA, stock bottom end. That's crazy, that's absolutely unheard of. So from a YouTube standpoint you got to understand I make racing content I want to start hitting the drag strips when they open up it makes the most sense to me to be able to first off get 0% financing on a car having to put zero money down and then getting a car that will get more bang for the buck you know I'm not going to lie I wasn't that crazy about this front end but this car in general has been great. There's nothing like this 10-speed, I'm telling you. I promise you there's nothing like this 10-speed. So, if you guys can understand where I'm coming from, this car will be built the right way, and I will be making the best content with this car. And that is why I, I truly did buy this car. Because I want to show you guys what what it could do you know it's just these cars these Camaros especially the new ones get so much hate and I really don't know why because other than Mustangs and stuff what other car could make nine second pa passes NA stock bottom end not many at all you know the Charger the 392 without boost couldn't do that even with boost there was cars struggling there's there's a few in the nines I know with boost but forged boost excuse me all that so and I put so much money and wasn't satisfied I couldn't get myself to be satisfied with that car and putting more money into it and there's Camaros out there smacking Hellcats you know so I just wanted to explain a little bit why I decided to make do this and hopefully you guys can understand. This was a straight YouTube thing. The charger I had was for me and to start from and to build from. This Camaro, I bought for this channel. So if you don't like the Camaro and you're a strictly Mopar guy, you're more than welcome to unsubscribe. You don't gotta hate. Either way, I'm still gonna make videos and I'm still gonna grow, you know? And I'm gonna get even more, more people that are gonna to subscribe to me because, well, I have a totally new car. But the people that do stick with me, I've gotten so many messages on Instagram and Facebook saying, yo, sick car, yo, you know, I'm a Mopar guy, but I'm sticking with you. I think it's, you know, your, the potential's there. And that I truly appreciate, you know? The people that unsubscribe that don't have any hate, that's fine. That's fine. No hate. You like Mopars, you don't like Camaros, that's fine. Don't don't bother me one bit. But the hate just isn't needed, you know? The dislikes, if you don't like the video, just move on, you know? Nah. I don't know. On YouTube, I don't think I've ever disliked a video ever in my life. So it's just crazy people would dislike a video that of an up-and-comer YouTuber that's just trying to make a name for himself. So either way, I think I broke it down, you know. This car is going to be an absolute beast. 
I got one thing on the way for sure. And I got a few other things in the works. I still got a splitter and side skirts from my 392 that I got to sell. So I'll put that money towards this car probably. But um, yeah, I mean, I just really wanted to break it down for you guys. And I hope you understand. I know this isn't like a typical video. And I really didn't want to have to post this video. Because it just seems like a waste of time. And I don't want to waste your guys' time. But... You know, the hate was there, and I just I just had to explain it a little bit. So, as you can see, $10,000 into a 392, making 500 horsepower. $10,000 into a Camaro SS, making 650 horsepower. Now, tell me what makes more sense to you. When I race people, I'm going to be smacking them. Maybe not stock, maybe not simple bolt-ons, but I will be beating cars, and... I'm a racing channel, so either way, I'm not trying to drag this on too much longer. Thank you guys for the support. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and we'll be back to regular posting. I got so many video ideas that I think I'm gonna start posting like maybe every other day. I don't know, I, I feel like I gotta try it, you know? I feel like I gotta try it. I also don't wanna burn myself out, but uh, yeah. If you guys stayed this long, here's my first race that I had with this car. It was a 15 Mustang. It was either, I don't know if it was auto or manual. I don't remember what he said. He didn't tell me if there was anything done to the car. I think it was stock, but...